So if I've published this, it's because it worked. I'd really like to get the scotch Bright wheel on my surface grinder so that I can make consistent, nice, clean finishing passes on the, on the vice restoration project. So what I am thinking, and the problem is this is a one inch bore and I need it to be an inch and a quarter. So there does look like there's enough uh, remaining plastic here to take care of that, but I want to try to bore it, you know, as concentric, obviously, as I can. So I'm fortunate enough to have a couple of these metal plates, which are one and a quarter inch um, the, uh, arbors here. And what I'm going to do is I also have some arbor adapters. This is a one and a quarter inch down to one inch. So I'm going to use these to line up So this will be my base. And then what I'll do is take the one and a quarter and then the one inch to make sure they're everything's concentric. Drop that in. And then do the same thing on the top side the one and a quarter and the one inch. Drop that in. So now I know I have both the top and bottom plate concentric with each other and set um, concentric with the with the grinding wheel. So next we're gonna we'll clamp this down so that we can run a saw down in there and bore that out. All right, next up is I found this in my uh, collection of tools that I've acquired, which is a little fly cutter, not a fly cutter, a little boring bar, I guess, with a, with a high-speed steel bit on it. And so I've adjusted that depth so that it is um, just the right inch and a quarter that I'm looking for. See how it lines up.
So after making a bunch of small adjustments with this bit, I was able to get it so that fits in there. Finally, it took a while. Small, small adjustments. So here it is. Still have plenty of that plastic core left. All right, let's see how it fits. Looks like I've got a spacer on here. Let's take that off. A couple of spacers. All right. All the way, yeah, I am, but I'm backing up against that too soon. Does that come off? Maybe this doesn't hold a half inch wheel, I mean, a one inch wheel. I'll be back. All right, so I'm able to get this on with a one and a half threads, which should be fine. This thing's, it's on there pretty snug. All right, let's make sure that the safety shield still fits. No conflict. Let's give it a spin. It's largely uneventful. That's good. That's what we like. All right, now let's see about getting this piece on there. Give it a little bit more support in the back. Just in case. All right. off. I'm actually going to reset this because I'm not sure if these cast pieces are actually flat. So we're going to we're going to double check that and come right back.
In the next episode of the Kurt Weiss Restoration Project, we'll measure all the parts and pieces for flatness, parallelism, and squareness. And assuming that goes well, we'll do a final assembly. I'm looking forward to that. Please uh, subscribe to the channel, hit notifications, and you'll be notified when that video comes out. I do appreciate any comments that you may have on a different suggestion or a different way to do this. Um, I'm learning as I go, so learning a lot from the comments. I do appreciate the feedback. Hope you're having a great day and good luck in your shop, and we'll talk to you later.